QuickBooks has some useful settings to help you keep track of your sales. Let's go over the options in Settings, so you can decide what QuickBooks tracks when you record a sale. Turn on time-saving features like invoice payments, and customize your messages to customers. To get started, go to Settings and select Account and Settings, then Sales. These are your sales settings. Start by customizing your sales forms, so you know how they look when customers get them. This is a bit involved, so we cover this in more detail in a separate video you can find at the end of this one. Let's move on to the Sales Form Content section. Select the appropriate fields to start tracking additional information when recording a sale. For example, if you charge customers for shipping or track shipping addresses, select Edit and then add the Shipping fields. Not all businesses need to track this info, so they aren't on by default. Make sure you are tracking everything you need to get the most out of your sales data. If you give all of your customers the same number of days to pay their invoices, enter it in the Preferred Invoice Terms field. And if you want all your sales to be printed or emailed in a batch after recording them, choose that option in the Preferred Delivery Method field. QuickBooks will remember these as your default settings, so you don't have to. Be sure to save each section as you update these preferences. If you want to set specific payment instructions for all new invoices, you can do that under Invoice Payments. These instructions will appear in every invoice that you create and will save your time. In the Product and Services section, you choose how to track the things you sell or services you provide. Nearly every business tracks specific products or services on sales forms. If you need to keep track of specific information, like a stock keeping unit, select Edit and then set up the Show SKU column. If you keep inventory of products and track quantities in QuickBooks, select Track Inventory Quantity on Hand, shown here. This option is only available in QuickBooks Plus. You can skip this if you only sell services. Here's a unique feature in QuickBooks, Turn On Price Rules, that lets you set up automatic price changes based on the date of your sale or type of customer you're charging, and you can price your products in foreign currencies. Do you create estimates for customers and then charge them multiple times as the work is completed on a job? Make sure you turn on the Progress Invoicing feature. You can also personalize your communications with customers. Use the Messages section to customize your emails to customers. Also, if you'd like to receive a copy of the messages you send to customers, check this box. Remember to save your changes. You can also change the default email message that QuickBooks sends to customers to remind them of unpaid balances. Here, you can also automate invoice reminders. You can customize up to three additional payment reminder messages and choose when they should be sent. Online delivery options let you choose the details that need to be included on emailed invoices and sales receipts and whether you include a PDF record of the sale in your emails. Lastly, if you send statements to your customers, you can choose whether to list each product and service they've been charged for and if you need to include how overdue they are on old invoices. Now you're ready to set up your own sales settings.